Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And because I'm making videos all about Unity 6's new features, this is another one today. And it's all about build profiles and the way that you build out your games and the different templates you can create for almost every single platform that you can imagine that you release your game on. With custom settings for each, you can enable and disable scenes, and you can even do custom scripting in each of them. So if you want to use the build profiles and build your game out, essentially, you can go to File and you can go to build profiles. And when you click that, it will bring a pop out. On the left hand side will be the platforms. And you can see that there's a scene list at the top, which is you can add all scenes into here and you can click add open scenes if you need to add more. These will be the things that will each of your levels and you have the platforms available. Now, if you want to add additional platforms, you can click on one of them that might be relevant if you need to build out for Mac and you will need to install in Unity Hub. And when you click that, it will take you to Unity Hub, it will pop out and it will say, yes, you need to install this. Say you want to build out to a console like PlayStation 5, you'll click on that and it'll say, open the download page. And when we open that page up, you can see that if you want to build to Xbox, to PlayStation or Nintendo, you need to apply via their specific programs for those companies. So it's Idea Xbox for Xbox, PlayStation Partners and Nintendo. And I have applied for both of these before and they've got a fairly straightforward process for both. Now you can use this default Windows profile and just build your game as normal, but there's no way for us to actually affect what scenes are in there and the custom settings per build. So what you can do is you can either click to add a build in the top left corner, you can see up in the top, you can choose your different platform that you want to build to, or it does have a suggestion that you can add a new profile based on it. So in the top left, if we go to there, and we're going to build our own custom windows. If you click add, you've got a new windows platform. You can right click, you can duplicate, rename and delete. I'm gonna call this a windows test build. Now, if at any point you want to switch to that build, you can click switch profile and you'll see that it'll become active at any point. And you can override the global scene list if you want this to have its own custom scenes that you might want one specific to this windows build. And you can add the scenes by dragging them in or adding them as normal. You can use something called script defines, which we will go through, where you can specifically hide bits of script which you don't want to appear. You could choose the architecture based on what you've chosen and whether you want this to be a development build. Now at the bottom here, you do have a customize player settings. And when you click that, you can have customization for icons, resolutions, splash screens, and other things, even company name and products. Now let's say we just added the basic information here, the company name is Speed Tutor, and that's the product. If we want to do a copy of this and the build settings different, we can duplicate by right clicking, right click again and rename this. That can be Windows Final Build, and you can switch to that profile as normal, and that will become active. And again, you can override the scene list and change it around as you wish. You see, I've given my final build the settings final game, I've given it a version of 1.0. Now, if I go to back to my test build, you can see that the settings are completely different. So this is a great way and you can quite easily just switch the profile, quite easily make as many build types as you want with different settings, different player settings. And I did say we wanted to look at something called the scripting defines, where you can define a keyword and then you can explicitly tell a piece of code that you don't want that to run in any particular build. And I'll show you how to do that. You can see in this test build that I'm currently in now, we're going to create the little plus and choose a keyword. And I'm just going to call this secret stuff without a space and just hit apply. Make sure that it doesn't have a space or you may get some errors. And I've got a little script which will show a UI element when I want to use it. And we want to be able to make sure that this is only relevant to the test build. Then we're going to write hashtag if space. And then we're going to write what that keyword we just put, which was secret stuff. And then on the end, we're just going to write end if and it will encapsulate that text that we've got. Because we're still in our test build, we can press play. And while we're in our test build, you can see I can play this and I've got that little thing that pops up to show us that this could be the little title for the test. Now we'll switch to our final build and you'll notice that it doesn't have any scripting defined options. So now if we test this out, now if I press the same key, I don't bring anything up because that code is excluded from this build. So if you needed to test something out, is very powerful. And do remember, seeing as though we've created custom builds, you can actually find those in your settings folder and build profiles. You can find them here, the Windows final build and test build, and you can actually edit them in the editor too, and also drag these between projects. 
to be able to use the exact same settings that you've used in other places. So I do hope you find the information on these build profiles useful and it's quite a powerful set of tools because it makes building your games so much easier. Do be sure to check out all the links below for all Unity's best savings and sales and everything you can find right now. And do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So thank you so much to all my patrons, a special thank you to Peter Steiner, Very Shooter and Jennifer for their amazing support. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.